Hello, this is Darkness. And this is Kijik, and welcome back to another episode of The Wolf Pit. And in today's episode, we originally had a plan that we were going to do Pitch Perfect, but we scrapped that idea and found something a little better. And this movie is also in theaters right now, so don't miss it if you want to go out and see this. Today we decided to do... Fair warning, this video contains a shit ton of spoilers for the movie Captain America Civil War. If you do not want the movie spoiled, click away now. Otherwise, enjoy the shit out of it. That's right everybody, we're doing the movie Captain, Captain America Civil, Civil War. War. Now Kijik, who out of all the characters in the movie was your favorite? Um, I would have to say out of all of them, and even though he wasn't in like the whole movie, which is in like the battle scene, it would have to be Spider-Man, played by Tom Holland. Now, when you say that he wasn't in anything but uh, the the actual Civil War part of the movie, what do you mean? Like, how did how did he become part of the Civil War? Um, well, Tony Stark came to his apartment in New York and recruited him. Now, how did he recruit him? Just went there and talked to him. It's like, hey, I got this. You know, it's like it was basically like just to confuse his aunt because. Tony obviously didn't want to give away the you know, secret that Peter Parker is, in fact, Spider-Man. So you're saying that Tony Stark already knew that Peter Parker was Spider-Man? Yeah. Like, he figured it out? Well, I don't think so much that he figured... I mean, yeah, he probably did figure it out, but, like, he... Like, he probably had people watching Spider-Man. He probably he, had... He, Tony, okay, if I, if I were to reference anything, I'd say, like, Tony Stark is probably the Marvel version of... Batman. So he's got people track. He's tracking like every Everybody. single superhero he can find to find like the best guy. I wouldn't really say just the best guy, but like, like how Batman does. He's got a plan to take out every member of the Justice League. So he decided to pick the one he knew he could probably take out the easiest. No, or at least would be like the best bet to go against Captain America in the war. No, I think what it was is like, um. Because he's kind of like... Tony Stark chose him... Because he's a surprise. Well, yeah, he was a surprise because no, I don't think any of the other Avengers knew about him. But also, what they needed for this job was somebody quick and nimble and could get around quickly. And that... And could confuse uh, Bucky and everybody else yeah. really easily. Because he had the nylon webbing so he could capture them pretty easily. Yeah. Like the, all, the awesome scene when he's actually revealed... When he takes Captain America's shield and just kind of like does a little backflip on top of the car, yeah, and he's like, "Hi, like, Captain America!" Yeah, you know, I, I thought about Big you know, sticking, you know, thought about sticking the, uh, the you know landing a little bit more, but you know, it's kind of should I, should I do it again? Or uh, no, no, kid, you're you're fine, you're fine, just do your thing. Because he was he was pretty nerdy. I like I like yeah, he, I, mean, he I was, thought he was pretty cool. He was nerdy. Now my favorite, um, and it don't have to be not just, not just these guys, probably. Even though he really didn't have any screen time, I like Crossbones. Yeah, I, I felt though that Crossbones was a underused character. He was only in, in the film. movie for like fifteen minutes, and then he died. He like yeah. he exploded. Just so you guys know, spoiler. This is a real big spoiler. Um, when they're at the Institute of Infectious Diseases, because uh, Captain America, Falcon, and it was Black Widow and uh, Scarlet Witch. Scarlet Witch, and they were trying to get this serum that was inside of the Institute of Infectious Diseases. And it was a disease is what it was. Yeah. I, they never revealed what the actual disease was, but... Uh, no, Captain America said he took a biohazard. Biohazards usually mean some kind of disease or something. Well, something yeah, but they never ex explained what the actual disease was called. No, they didn't. Now, when Captain America and them, all the group, went to go there, they met Crossbones, and... He was actually a pretty badass. Like, he looked pretty cool. He looked like... Well, he looked like he could probably go toe-to-toe -to -toe with all of them. Oh, yeah. S save for maybe the Hulk. You know, if the Hulk was actually in this movie. But he took on Falcon, and he pretty much whooped Falcon's ass. He was whipping uh, Black Widow's ass. And then he decided to go up against Captain America, and Captain America was getting his ass kicked by him. Yeah. Until Captain America, like, fucking knocked him down, and then he tried to, like, explode a bomb. And then fucking Black uh, Crimson Witch... Or Scarlet Witch, uh, Scarlet Witch. like did her Scarlet powers Witch and like, lifted them up in there, and then which unfortunately when killed he, a whole bunch of people because it exploded and right killed a whole bunch of people in the village and it was really sad. and that is what started up 
the Sokovian, whatever the fuck it was. Uh, with uh, what was his, the general? What was his General name? Ross? Yeah, um, General Ross uh, had a meeting with Captain America and all of them uh, about having a petition signed where the Avengers had to be kind of like a sign-on team. Like if they didn't want them, then they couldn't show up. Like they're kind of like they'd be hired mercenaries, pretty much. No, hired it, it, it was no, it wasn't really so much hired. It's like. The United Nations would dictate where they went. Yeah, because they were tired of them getting free roam because they were just like destroying yeah, everything. Like as General Ross said, most you know, well, almost everybody called them heroes, but there would be some that called them vigilantes. They yeah. figured themselves to be above the law. And because of that, it's because of the whole thing with Hulk uh, destroying like most of the city in uh, New York, Sokovia, and stuff from Age of Ultron and the original Avengers movies. Yes, we're referring back to the original movies because of all the damage that uh, they've done. They did, and they can't even uh, account for Thor or Hulk because Thor's back in Asgard, and God only knows where the hell Hulk's at. Hulk's at. Although just, I do have my speculations on that, which I will not get into at this time. Yeah, we're not. We we both have our own opinions about where uh, Hulk's at, but we're not going to discuss that. But. Uh, yeah, I like Crossbones because of his look. I liked his look. I liked how he. They, was they did. They did. They did a very good job of closely resembling to what he actually looks like in the comics. Yeah, they did actually. I was surprised because like it's not easy getting them guys exactly right. I mean, it took forever just to get freaking Spider Man to look like freaking Spider Man to get his eyes to. Yeah, to get his eyes to like retract which, black spots. Yeah, which that was just you know animatronic. You know, not real. I don't. Really it's kind of like CGI. No, it wasn't CGI. No, what that was, like, it was an actual thing that would happen with his actual suit. It's, it, it was an upgrade that Tony Stark gave him. That actually would, like, let him focus more? Yeah, like, it would, like, zoom in and out and everything. It would help him focus a little bit more. It help him with his senses because when they were in uh, his apartment talking, he's like, you know, because... Like, because you, 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 you got to see the original suit, which was kind of like <laughs> these swimsuit... Goggles and like this hoodie, and it was it was really generic looking, but it worked for him because when they yeah. were then when they were uh, Iron Man was showing videos of Spider Man to Spider Man for some reason, and I don't think it was really for him. I think it was more for us. It was kind of like yeah. a fourth wall breaking, but yeah, it was just him in like these sweatpants and sweatshirts, like flying through the air and stopping a car and stuff. Yeah. Which I think they're gonna like show more with Spider Man. Yeah, he, he Spider Man is gonna get his own movie. It's called Spider Man Homecoming. Yeah. Spoilers! If you guys have not heard, Spider Man's getting his own Marvel Cinematic Universe movie, and he's, he's actually with home. us. He's coming home to Marvel. Which is funny because the name of the movie is Spider Man Homecoming, but we're not gonna get into that. We're not gonna get into that because that's. For something else, when that's the like movie, a couple years down when the road. movie actually comes out, then we'll do a review on that. But uh, what was your favorite scene from these guys, or from anybody? What was your favorite scene of the entire movie? Um, well, actually, I have two picks. Um, it was definitely like the whole fight between both teams. That was just epic, epic and awesome. Uh, well, no, actually, I, I take it back. I have three favorite scenes. My second uh, scene is a very short one, but it is definitely worth noting, is when Captain America and Iron Man were fighting, and... Now, where were they fighting at, though? Did they fought a lot. Now, which, which part are you talking about? It was toward the end. Okay, so the second time when they fought. Yeah, like, like it, when it was just Captain America and Iron Man. Okay. Um, in, in, in the comics... During the Civil War, there was always that one scene where Captain America is just like holding up his shield and Iron Man's like right there blasting it. And they did that in the movie. Which was actually awesome because they actually showed it. was awesome it. and I, I will admit I had a nerdgasm. I was like, oh, yes! You had to geek out because it was like, yeah, it's oh like, my I god, they actually geek. got something from the comic. They I did actually a lot of comic references yeah. from like the original. I mean, they didn't have all the budget, obviously, because right. they, they couldn't get like... Everybody, but they got like a good majority of guys. Mm -hmm. And it was just, it was definitely a Marvel movie done right. Oh, yeah, they did an amazing job with the amount of time they put into it. Every yeah, time. and then I would have to say my third favorite scene is the chase in like the middle of the movie where Bucky is being chased by Black Panther, which was being chased yes. by Captain America. Speaking of uh, 
Black Panther. They actually got Black Panther right. Yes. They got him. If you guys don't Down know... Down to the fucking detail of his... Fu- like, every detail of his suit was exactly like it was in the comics. If you guys don't know who Black Panther is, go look it up. It, he's awesome. But he, he did... He looked He looked freaking sweet. Mm-hmm. He was... He was really well done. Yeah. Um, my favorite scenes from the movie are really funny ones. It has to be when... When Spider-Man took Captain America's shield, just because it was funny because of Spider-Man being a freaking nerd, and it was awesome because he actually was nerding out. My second would have to be this guy right here, if you guys can't see him. This is Ant-Man. Uh, I like to when Ant-Man grew like five times the size, and he actually did the warning like, I've only done this one time, so we're going to see how this goes, and he was freaking gigantic. And fucking uh, Tony Stark was like, okay! Anybody else have some amazing hidden crap they want to do? Because right now would be the awesome would be an awesome time to do it. Like, uh, no, no, we're we're all tapped out here. So, but they they got Spider Man and Iron Man team did take him out. So that that actually no, it was Iron Man and Spider Man, Spider Man and, and War Machine. Yeah, War. Yeah, War yeah, Machine. it was War Machine. War Machine took out a uh, Giant Man. How they like to call him, Giant yeah. Man. Um, I also, which is actually a legit thing from the comics. Um, Ant Man has always been able to go f- from smaller and bigger, huge. Which now, is, now he does have a limit on both being able to which, go so small. And if big. you guys have not seen Ant Man, then go see it. It's then, awesome. Then it's out on DVD. Go out and check it out. If you guys, you'll you'll find out what we're talking about. But um, spoilers if for because it's revealed in the Ant Man movie. He's gone to like where he's the Sub, size of an atom. He's the size of a, like a little tiny, tiny guy. He's, tiny. he's smaller than an atom. Yeah, he, he, like he, he just like he infinitely shrunk. Like he, like like he as was Hank Pym was as, shrinking, shrinking the yeah, entire time. Like as yeah, Hank Pym, Hank Pym said, you know, you go into this, you will just infinitely shrink. You will never ever stop shrinking. And this is all from the movie. If you don't know who Hank Pym is, go watch the Ant Man movie. You'll find out who we're talking about. But I like to end the Civil War how they made it the complete opposite, and they actually made him gigantic where he. Like ripped off the wing of the airplane and just started swinging it at people. <laughs> I thought that was funny. Yeah. And then him being the nerd that he is, was sitting there like, "Hey, you guys see Star Wars? Um, Revenge of the em- or Empire Strikes Back on the snow planet where they took down the big walkie thing? Like, yeah, we we've, we've seen it. Yeah. So what? It's like, we should do that. Do what? And then like, <laughs> and then Iron Man's like, "Oh wait, yeah, I know what he's talking about. Let's do that." And then, and then Spider- Spider- Man, Spider-Man wraps it around his legs like they did with the... And then freaking Iron Man and War Machine come up and punch him right in the face and he, just and he goes falls, down. He just falls down like... Oh, it, just, it, was, it was awesome. And then he shrinks back down to normal size. Oh, that hurt. But, but they did have him be little when he uh, when he first arrived because he like jumped through Iron Man's uh, hand. No, that wasn't when he first arrived. No, when he first arrived, he was, on, he was attached to Captain America's shield when he had it. And then, and he like just grew regular size. And then when they were fighting, uh, Ant Man went inside of Captain America's suit and, and started fighting. like ripping stuff. Up. Yeah, just like detached which him. Done, which how they did that was another reference from the comics. He jumped. He was tiny on the end of one of Hawkeye's arrows when he shot it off. Yeah, they did. They did do that. Uh, which Hawkeye was? was Hawkeye actually came back in the Civil War. Yeah, for the people that don't know that. Because you haven't probably ever seen the movie. Small fight scene. Which one of my favorite parts of the fight scene was when Hawkeye and Black Widow were fighting, and he's he's on top of her, and she's like, "We're still friends, right?" Well, it depends on how hard you hit me. <laughs> and she has she has that awesome smile, like I'm I'm gonna hit you pretty hard. Yeah, it's like yeah, it, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit you, and it's gonna hurt, but you're still gonna love me. Um, my other my final has to be uh, it's kind of a really small scene. It's like at after at the end of the or like where the credits are at it's not the final scene like every Marvel movie there's always that really post credit scene which nobody for some reason wants to go and sit and watch which is kind of stupid because you know you're going to get something yeah but uh, it was like uh, maybe like 10 seconds into the credits it's where Bucky aka the Winter Soldier is has his arm has been ripped off because it's shot off it's it's been taken off yeah, he was trying to rip out the core for the Iron Man suit and Iron Man just kind of like blasted it, and but it was him, and he's getting ready to get into a cryogenics uh, chamber because he told uh, 
Captain America. Captain like, America. If, we, that, if they can still use those words, I'm a danger to everybody. And if you guys don't know, spoilers, there is words uh, at the beginning of the movie. Spoke, if spoken in a exact in the exact order, there is pretty the right much order. brainwashes uh, Winter Soldier. The and Winter Soldier and do whatever just, the hell you want. He's just your he's your slave, and you can't. You can't deny him. He can't deny any requests that you give him. Yeah. But overall, I thought this was actually a really good movie. I enjoyed all the characters. I thought that Spider-Man was yeah. cool. I thought the Vision Vision was all right. He was, it's his Vision. It, it, it was kind of fun to see him in just like normal civilian clothing. Yeah, it was. It, it, was, it was interesting, and the, you know, he it was an interesting to cook. It was an interesting twist on him, and he did he did try to cook, which that was kind of funny to watch. Yeah, but I also I like Black Panther. I like the whole story behind him, how they did reveal him, and they yeah. sh- they showed who he was, the actual person, not just stayed in uh, costume the entire time with Black yeah. Panther. He was the uh, the Wakandan king. Yeah, and he became the Wakandan uh, king because his dad died during the UN the explosion. Bombing. Yeah. Uh, spoilers there if you guys didn't know that the UN, it, like in the movie, the UN, uh, they had a meeting where it was supposed to be uh, the King of Wakanda and all the other people from the UN trying to decide on the uh, the petition for... Oh, no, they weren't They weren't deciding. They were all there to accept, yeah, hey, you know, the Avengers, they're going to you know, listen to us. All but Captain America and uh, these guys because they decided they didn't want well, to. Well, Scott Lang didn't come in until, you know, it was time to fight. Yeah, but Captain America and Falcon decided they didn't want to, so they they didn't show up. Yeah, but they they showed up later on after the whole bombing to try to like. And they try to blame it on Bucky. Yeah, which Bucky didn't even do it. Bucky was framed. It was uh, Zemo. Uh, I think, yeah, Hector Zemo was his name. Yeah, I think that which they they did well with Zemo, but they forgot they didn't ever put him in like his actual costume. Even though he really just wore like a mask over his face, that was really yeah, all he uh, was. Zemo, okay, in the in the comics, Zemo was Red Skull's right hand man. Yeah, and in this movie, he was just a victim of what happened in uh, Sokovia with his family. You know, his family, his daughter and his wife dying, daughter, wife, and father. Yeah. So he blamed Bucky. Yeah, but, he was trying you know, to find. He, he blamed the Avengers, and he was trying to use Bucky to shoot. Basically, ripped the Avengers apart. Yeah, and, and he, he almost succeeded. Almost, it was close. But uh, then he went to the, the base where they showed at the beginning of the movie, where the Super Soldiers was at, which they revealed uh, there were five more of. There were five, and he just he shot him in the fucking head. Because I, me personally, when I was sitting in theaters, I was watching it. I was like, I really hope they bring these five guys out, and maybe they fight the Avengers. No, he freaking killed them all. Like they. Because he didn't want any more. He didn't want any more. He wasn't going to use them. He didn't want any more of them to exist. So, yeah, he just cold-blooded kill them. And then he tried killing Bucky, but it didn't work. Yeah. Do you have anything else to say about the movie? Or do you think you, you wrapped it up pretty well? I think we wrapped it up pretty well. Thank you for watching. This has been our review of the movie Captain, Captain America Civil, Civil War. War. If you like this piece, hit the like button below. And don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends. And if you have any suggestions of movies you'd like us to review, please comment below. And as always, we will see all you dudes and ladies in the next video. video.